Livestream Studio is releasing on October 29th, but a lot of our users are still using our current system with Livestream Studio and are curious, how do you do what I'm doing in Livestream Studio right now compared to what is the new Livestream Studio? Here's how you can move your stream from classic to studio in under five minutes. Before we get into that, I want to make sure I say that the current platform that is there is going to be renamed Studio Classic, while Livestream Studio is going to be our new platform. Studio Classic is still available, and if you're enjoying the customization that you have there and want to keep it, you totally can. But today we're talking about how you can do the things in Studio Classic, like set up scenes, starting soon, live, just chatting, be right back, as well as stream ending, as well as talking about how to do all the other things that you would expect from this new platform. What you're looking at right now is Studio Classic, or will be named Studio Classic, and we're currently inside a project, and I want to show you that right now, if you look across the bottom, we have five scenes set up. We have a starting soon, we have a live scene that will have our game source behind it, we have a just chatting, which has my camera on there. We have a be right back also and just include chat and some other things as well as a stream ending scene. And all of these are using third party overlays actually from stream elements. I'm going to be using these same overlays and showing you how to use them inside the new platform. All five of those scenes along with some other bonuses. We're going to talk about how you can set those up inside of the new Lightstream Studio. So we're in Lightstream Studio right now and I want to go ahead and say if you want to know how to be able to connect your Xbox or your PlayStation to actually go through this platform, there are dedicated tutorials, full walkthroughs that I'll go ahead and leave down in the description description or put his cards up in the top and at the end of the video for you to be able to check out to connect your console to do live streaming. But we're talking about overlays in this video and let's go ahead and talk about that customization. When you sign into the platform you will be greeted with this. This is where you actually choose your display name, you choose a camera and you choose a microphone. Not that you have to use these things in your live stream but it asks you to put it up so that you can be able to use them if needed. So what you see is over here on the side my name as well as my camera and if I click it it will bring me on to the scene and this is how I'm actually going to show what's live. This is the live canvas right here. Right now you have the RTMP source which is going to be your game source if you're using console and you can actually turn that on or off under settings by toggling game mode on or off. You can also pull that game source onto screen just like this. You can have your camera down here in the bottom or you can completely disconnect it and have just what's coming from your console center stage and maybe you're using your camera from your console that comes through. This could be all that you're wanting to capture. On this side of the screen are all the settings that we can use to customize. And the second setting is the produce panel. What you see here is you actually have intro videos, outro videos, and intermissions, which is the same names as starting soon, ending screens, as well as intermissions. And you can add videos here to be able to cue your own if you have some that are already pre-made and done. But we also can scroll down and we can see overlays. We have stream ending, be right back, as well as starting soon. And I'm gonna add a fourth one, which is going to be our actual live. We're gonna call this one live, and we're just gonna paste the URL from the platform that we're using. Again, third-party overlays. Just make sure that they're set to 1080p. So if you're going to be using XPN overlays, stream elements, or anything else, just make sure that they're 1080p canvas so that they work properly. Once you're there done, you can actually see that they're here. And under them, you actually have a star. And that star actually favorites things. So I'm actually going to go ahead and favorite all four of these. We can see that starting soon. We can see live, be right back, and stream ending. All of these are already done. We have all four of our regular overlays minus one, which will talk about in just a second. So to trigger them, they're pretty easy. You can either click them inside the overlay panel or you can click them in favorites so that it doesn't matter where you are here. You can literally just toggle them and turn them on. If I choose starting soon, you're going to be able to see that it will take over the screen just like you would expect inside the other platform. But here you can trigger them by actually clicking shift one through four. So if I click shift three, that will activate my third right here, which will be my be right back screen. Shift four will activate my stream ending, etc., and so on. I also have my live I've seen and this is actually supporting transparency just like you would expect your game will poke through and you can see that that's going to be this gray area and then all the rest of this is the overlay from that live overlay the last overlay is to talk about your just chatting and that's actually what we've been doing this entire time i just added myself from the stage on the left to be able to bring myself and put myself into the center of the screen you can also invite guests to come be a part of your stream by just copying the link by clicking invite guests send it to your friends and then you can have up to 10 people if you're premium subscriber or join your stream with you. Underneath the canvas, you actually have this button for share screen. And this is where it'll actually let you choose a tab, a window, or your entire screen to actually put this as an option to choose as a panel from the left. And it'll actually take it from the left side and put it on stage, almost like me just choosing this game source. And you'll be able to have this full customization of moving these things around. You do have four different panels to choose from where it actually puts things side by side. It'll actually put them kind of this way and actually crop, auto crop in the center of the screen 
screen. You can actually put them underneath at the bottom and then you have this picture in picture feel. Another customization is that you can turn on participant names. You can see that my name popped up up there. You can change the color of that. You can actually change the transparency as well. So we can actually make this blue and we can make it more transparent to poke through. And we have three options to customize any of the text that you show on screen and backgrounds down here that you can also upload. You can see that I have my custom banner here as well as you can choose any of the ones that we've preloaded if you wanted to have a background behind your video sources. We're also introducing our own light stream Twitch alerts and you can see right here we have follow Twitch cheers, raid subscribes, resubscribes and subscription gifts. You can actually view them by just clicking the little eyeball and you can see what they look like. You can put them at the bottom of the screen or you can actually move them to the top of the screen either way and these only will support Twitch but these are a great way for you to get started if you don't have custom overlays or browser overlays to get started on your stream. Now the difference between seamless and projects, projects being studio classic and seamless being what we have right here is that it's just the same thing. We have all of the same sources. We still have our overlays. We still have alerts. We still have ways to invite people, our game source, everything. It's just easier because we don't have to actually add it from different menus. They're all just easily accessible and clickable. And I think that's the beauty of Lightstream Studio. For dedicated tutorials on how to connect your Xbox or PlayStation so that you can use that game source option that we just discussed, check out the videos on screen now. Also, make sure you follow us over on Twitter X as well as join our Discord server for up-to-date information on what's occurring here at Lightstream Studio. Thanks for watching and we'll see you over in those videos.